September is coming. So here's a roundup of lots of inspirational makes that you can stitch for yourself or somebody else you know who is ready to start studying. Don't forget, all the pattern links are in the description below. Number one, Back to School Bunnies by Dolly Time. Let's start off with the little ones who might be feeling just a little bit nervous to start a new class or a new school year. A miniature school bunny is just the thing to pop into a little pocket for reassurance. Designer Dolly Time does it again with this sweet little pattern with lots of variations and techniques and lots of ideas for personalisation. I think I want one of these. Number two, Locker Monsters by The Bird's Nest. Locker Monsters? Who knew? I absolutely love these. And what a welcome to dangle on the inside of the door of your locker. If you're having a bad study day, one of these is going to cheer you up. They don't need very much yarn, so this is a great stash buster. Number three, the Lotus Laptop Case by Nikki Jules and Jones. If you're taking your laptop to college or university, you'll want to keep it safe. And there's no better way than making your own gorgeous case to keep it in. We love this fabulous crochet stitch repeat, and it makes a really dense cover to protect all those precious corners. At number four, Comfort Critters by Sweet Softies. I just love these crocheted comfort critters with their own little sleeping bag to curl into when the day is getting a bit too much. These might just be the sweetest little things to have in your school bag or in your pocket when you need a little bit of comfort and you'd like to hop into a sleeping bag yourself. Number five, the Tunisian Crocheted Computer Sleeve by Maria Magnussen. Tunisian crochet, which is a kind of combination between knitting and crochet, creates a fabulously firm fabric that makes an ideal material for a laptop cosy. This free pattern from Maria Magnussen is both beautiful and a great introduction to Tunisian crochet if you haven't tried it yet. And spoiler, it is so much fun. Number six, Granny Square Tote Bag by Realm Designs. A simple granny square tote bag is ideal for books and is perfect for all ages. Dress it up in your recipient's favourite colours. You can make it pastel, you can make it rainbow and use up all your chunky weight scraps and create something truly original for the students in your life. Number seven, The L Bag by Lorinda B. If you're a knitter and you want a super strong bag for your books, Felting is the answer. The L Bag by Lorinda B is a gorgeous stripy bag that uses up all your pure wool scraps. Just remember to only use 100% wool yarns for this gorgeous project to make sure that it felts properly. Number 8. The Block Patterned Pouch by Paintbox Yarns This sweet free pattern from Paintbox Yarns, actually all the Paintbox Yarns patterns are free if you didn't know that. This one is super fun to knit with some colour work to keep you busy. This is an ideal back to school project for older kids or grown ups. You can keep all your favourite pens and pencils tucked away in this little beauty. Number nine, the Crayon Pencil Case by Sunflower Cottage Crochet. I just love this crocheted pencil case. You can make it in any colour or mix it up and it has a sewn in zip and you can put a cotton lining in too if you want to. Absolutely gorgeous. Number 10, Monster Pencil Toppers by Dawn Finney. Well, this one has to be my absolute favourite. These monster pencil toppers are knitted flat and you can use up all your stash. You can make them look as sweet or as scary as you like. Everyone will love them. And if you can whip up a batch for the whole class, you will be the most popular knitter in all the world. Well, I hope you loved our little back to school roundup. Are you going back to school this September? We'd love to hear all about it. Please leave me a comment and tell us what you're doing. Where are you going? What are you going to study? Can't wait to hear all about it. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel for lots more fabulous tips and techniques. And may we wish you a fabulous happy back to school in September.